Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to be making a pair of end tables that are made in the rustic farmhouse style. So let's get to it. As with any project, the first step to this is milling down some lumber. So let's get doing that. I'm gonna be making all of this out of white wood and spruce pine, basically construction grade material. So it will need to be cut and milled down to size. So let's get started. are all milled down for both tables and now we're going to start drilling a bunch of pocket holes. Lots and lots of pocket holes. <laughs> Okay, pocket holes are now drilled in all of the necessary parts, so let's begin assembly. Again, I'm doing this with pocket hole screws and wood glue. These are gonna be the fronts and backs and sides to my drawer box that's gonna be the drawer for this table. Um, what I'm wanting to do is cut a groove in each one of these at the bottom so that a quarter inch sheet of plywood can slide in there to be the drawer bottom. In order to do that, I'm gonna use a 3 8 of an inch setup block to get my blade height exactly correct so that I can cut that groove and a panel can slide in. So let's do that. We'll cut the panel and assemble the drawers. Okay, so the assembly of both of these tables is now complete. I'm gonna give everything a quick sanding just to kind of smooth up the seams, get rid of some of the glue squeeze out, get everything sanded down, and then begin painting these white. As you will notice, I said the assembly is complete with the exception of the shelf planks and the tabletop planks. Those are gonna be stained, and I feel like it's easier to do to go ahead and stain those now, let the stain dry, paint these white, let the paint dry, then I will attach everything on there. So um, let's get this sanded down. We'll get the planks stained and these painted white.
Okay, the paint has dried and the stain has dried. I also just added a quick coat of lacquer across this stain just to kind of seal it a little more. I'm gonna attach these, um, the bottom shelves here. Uh, and, and by the way, off camera, I just installed these together with pocket holes. You don't have to do that. Um, you can keep them as individual slats and then just brad nail each one of them on when you install it. But for me, it was easier just creating a kind of a panel. So. I'm gonna install these uh, with brad nails, just putting them on uh, the shelf and just tacking them in, each one of them. And then I'm gonna install some um, cabinet pull handles and these bad boys will be done.